Hi, this is my video on the GoPro Max Grip plus tripod. No, <laughs> they mainly call this the Max Grip. Um, this is a tripod selfie stick. This is specifically for the GoPro Max, but you can use it for your GoPro Hero cameras or any action camera or any phone, um, smartphone with a, sm with a mobile phone mount. So it's not just for the GoPro Max camera. Now, this is how it looks. And this is how the box looks. And it's, this uses a twist action locking system for the pole. And the pole extends from, it goes from 23 centimeters up to 56 centimeters in length. But I don't go by what any manufacturer states when it says for the extension. And I'll show you that later on in the video. Now, this is what the Max Grip looks like. And, we, and I'll go from bottom to top. Now, at the bottom, there, as you can see, there is a place to put a lanyard on this um, when you open it up. So first of all, we have three feet here, which have rubber on the bottom. And I'll open these out. Oh, I'll open these out to show you. Now we have a rubber um, bottom on here uh, for grip. And at the very bottom here on the stem, as you can see, there's a place to put a lanyard. Now, if you're gonna put a lanyard on here, I've, I'd be advised, try and find the longest lanyard <laughs> that you can get. It might have to be a neck lanyard because once this is closed up, I'll just show you with the two feet closed here, look at the distance that lanyard has to come out. So if you get a short wrist lanyard, you'd probably might, might have only that much amount of room left. So you might have to get a neck lanyard to fit in there. Now, each feet here has magnets. So we've got a magnet there. Let's focus on there. We got a magnet there, it's gonna refocus, that's it. You got a magnet there and a magnet there. Each feet have that on them. So when you close it together, it stays locked into place. Now, the legs are made of plastic, but they can't, they've got this kind of rubber coating on them. And at the top of each legs here, you can see there's a diamond shaped pattern in there to give it more added strength. On the handle itself, we have the words GoPro and we have a kind of matte finish on one of the legs here. And then the next leg, we have this kind of wave or striped um, uh, finish on here, which is rubber as well. And the same on the leg next to it. So two legs have got this kind of finish to them and the leg with the word GoPro on there has this smooth rubber finish to them. They have this unique cutout at the top of each leg. I think purely for design or hold purposes like that to help put your thumb into that groove when holding. And at the top here, we have the GoPro mount and this is made out of plastic, not metal. We have a bit of rubber round here as well. And once again, it's made out of plastic, not metal. This is made out of metal the actual GoPro thumb screw is made out of plastic. Now, the manufacturers state that this extends out to 56 centimeters, the whole overall length, but I don't normally go by that. In my videos, I don't go by that because um, they, to me, you lose some inches on the grip and some inches, and with the camera on top. So to me, the true extension length is at the bottom of the mount here to the top of the handle. Now, if you do that, <coughs> excuse me, this extends out to 13 inches between these two points. 
13 inches. Now, this has a similar design to the other GoPro, um, to the Grande, which by it uses a aluminium shaft that is just completely round. There's no seam in there whatsoever. And it has these fine plastic, um, I would say, friction points here, which they've colored in black the same way as the Grande has on theirs, which is quite good. It gives it a kind of premium stealth look. It, this, um, like the Grande, does feel of quality, um, which is good. Uh, it's a pity they didn't make the Shorty, which I've also done in a video of this kind of quality. The Shorty doesn't feel as quality like this and the Grande. Um, as I stated before, the mount at the top here is made out of plastic. It would have been good if they made that out of steel, but they made that out of plastic. Now, this uses a twist lock uh, motion or mechanism to lock the stem out. Simply pull out and twist anti-clockwise, I think it is, to lock the whole thing in place. Now, you can obviously lock, lock it at different lengths just by simply untwisting and then locking so you can lock this at different lengths. Now, I think the original design for this is for the GoPro Max, but as I says, you can use an action camera on here, you can use your, on, your other GoPro, the Hero 8 on here, you can use, you can use any other, the other GoPros and any other action camera on this as long as they got that kind of GoPro style mount to them on there. Now, this is what I'm going to say next, maybe a bit controversial, but there is a company called Sun Sun. I think you can get, you can get them on Amazon. Um, I did a review on it on the Sun Sun 4-in-1, which is so similar to this. And I think they came out with it first. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, please put down in the comments section. But I think Sun Sun come out with that design first. And it's probably based on the, I think it's called the GoPro Tripler, I think. GoPro Tripler, something like that. Which is based on what the Sun Sun based that off. I tried to find the Tripler to do a comparison. But it, it looks like they've discontinued the Tripler altogether. Um which is a similar thing to this. I'd, if not, if it was probably the first of its kind like this and then other companies followed and then GoPro came up with their one to it, which is basically a long handle section like this that has a, a, a short stem on there, short thick stem onto it. So if you can find videos on the GoPro Tripler, you'll see that it's very similar to this. Now, um, for the price what you pay, personally, I would buy the Sun, the Sun Sun. I hope I got that right. I know it's in my list of other videos on my channel. You could find it there. The Sun Sun 4-in-1, personally, I would buy that because it's built the same way as this, if not slightly a bit better than the GoPro Max grip. It has a more kind of textured um, uh, legs uh, as a handle, more textured, stronger magnets to keep it, to keep the legs together than the GoPro uh, Max has, and more grippy rubber feet on the bottom. So I would personally, and it's a lot cheaper, it's probably half the price of this one um, so I would personally go for that. Now this is how the GoPro Max grip looks like when it's sitting on the ground. Now it has quite a wide um, footprint on the bottom. These quite spaced out quite wide and the legs are quite chunky. Um, not as chunky and as thick as the Sun Sun 4-in-1 but it's it, they're chunky enough, and there's quite a good grip on the on this ground anyway on this floorboard. 
and there's a um, flooring with this with these legs and you can see it's it's quite high it's not not terribly too tall and so it is good for, you could put this outside um, the center of gravity is this is probably about round about here and you can tether this as I said if you're gonna put anything like this on the outside especially with a phone on there which is a lot bigger try and tether it to either a pole a chair leg a table leg or whatever and when I'm in my tether just bring a piece of string just to tie it there if it's a windy day if it's a non windy day then you don't have to but personally I think um, selfie stick tripods like this are really uh, suitable for indoor use more than outside use if you do have it outside it's more to be on to place on top of a bench or on top of a large rock or or a table or even a chair so just bear that in mind now this is my two pence worth on the gopro max grip tripod <laughs> right this is my two pence worth on it first of all i'm going to start off with the negatives one of the biggest negatives of this is the price priced far too high uh, for what it is especially when there's other companies out there as i said like i think it's called gold pole who made the tripler that was cheaper than this and you got uh, a chinese company called sun sun um four in one which you can get on amazon which is a lot cheaper than this and feels just the same quality as this so the price is a negative other than that uh, there's one more negative after that and it has to do with that part here now the sun sun four in one was the same that had a quarter inch screw thread hole in there to put your lanyard in there um, but it, having it there is just mad because because this is so far in you're gonna have to probably get a neck lanyard um, to put in there because your normal wrist lanyard unless it's a long wrist lanyard won't able to get down in there if it does get down it will get down in there but you won't have much out uh, once you close the legs so uh, beware of that in mind bear that in mind I like the f uh, feel of this it is well it's built well just like the um, Al Grande is built well so I give it that it is built well um, I like the the feel of the rubber on the handles it's pity that the the third uh, leg didn't have the same kind of gripping on there but they probably done it just to put the logo and made that smooth and to make it look a bit different so I can understand them doing that um, I like these kind of cutouts what they've made in there these kind of dips in there so when you're holding it it's nice to place your thumb there um, it's like a nice so they're holding your thumb on the main round part you go in like your groove to put your thumb in so that's quite good I like the the way how the stealth look of this how they kept the color of the plastic uh, friction I don't know what you'd call them but the friction parts that are in there between these sections are the same color as the pole to give it that more of a stealth look more of a premium look and that is my two pence worth oh one last thing they could have made that metal now if you happen to have the GoPro max grip plus tripod tell me what you think about it because your opinion may be different to my opinion so please let us know down in the comment section if you like this video please give it a thumbs up I know this video is quite long and I like to be thorough so if you don't like this video give it a thumbs down I totally understand anyway please subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching